type up. Just a series, series, uh, TV. Did I spell it right? Yeah, I spelled it right. These fucking gloves make everything typing so god. Was a bitch your boy Ailers, and I have a little bit of a backstory for you to do. To 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 do the fuck. I have a little bit of a backstory for you. All right, here it is. Uh, I was on this channel earlier this week looking for videos, you know, to you know comment on, do my thing, post what I always do, right? But I realized the videos are a little bit too short, so I was just going to move on to another channel, maybe even go to Mike.com and roast some of their articles, you feel me? But what came to mind is that why do all of that when I can just react with you and, you know, go on this journey? So how about we get started? What's up, bitch? How, My name's Mary. And how I dare you call me a bitch? You uh, monkey business episode. No. Yahoo Answers, how to make a chocolatey cake. When your friends go talk about how it goes about what is this channel it's so random? Uh uh Oh, oh blissful thinking. Blissful thinking. What's this? Cat videos! Yeah! Cat videos! Yeah! What do we want? Cat videos! When do we want them? Yeah! I don't want to be uncomfortable. Racism is a bummer. Almost half of white people say America talks about racial issues too much. It's almost like it. That's true. We do. And then shit like fucking everything happens. We blow the the media blows up race tension so much. And then people are like, oh my gosh, how come race relations is so terrible in 2018? I wonder why. I'd rather stay out of it. Everybody does, man. No one likes to talk about it. White people say it's very special conversation about racism. Yeah, because if a white person actually generally wants to talk about how there's more crime in the black community, he just gets chewed out. And if a black person wants to talk about how they don't, well, yeah, if a black person wants to talk about race at all, they get, you know, praised. So I, I can see why white millennials don't want to talk about it. They're almost dis, uh, <clears throat> discouraged to do so. Time to break the white silence. The hashtag white silence. I'm not racist. What's up? But I'm part of the problem. And like that, we leave. Uh, sexy stigma? I have herpes. What the and fuck? I'm what the fuck? What is this? I'm not ashamed to say it. Hello, New York City. I had chlamydia. Ew! Ew! <laughs> That's gross. Does anybody want to come talk about their STIs? Ha ha ha! Very personal, but there's a stigma. Let's talk about it. Ew. Ew. No. No, no, no. There's a stigma for a reason. You realize that people don't talk about their STIs and, and their fucking diseases because they you got it doing a really, you know, intimate thing with another individual who you probably didn't know. Because most, I, I'm not going to say most individuals don't get STIs from their partners, but majority of that shit you don't get chlamydia from your husband because you know that your husband doesn't have chlamydia unless he's cheating on you so you're clapping some random bitch and now you <laughs> now you have chlamydia oh that's that is gross let's not talk about this at all ew we have sdis one in six people in the united states ages 14 to 49 have general two herpes uh, yeah, that is true, but doesn't mean we should talk about it openly. I mean, in our society, we have norms. We don't talk about how we have, you know, yeast infections. We don't let girls talk about their yeast infections, and dude don't, dudes don't talk about how pus comes out of their dick because you have chlamydia. Ew. Every year, there's three million new cases of chlamydia Yo. in the United States. Ah. Most people who have herpes don't know they have it. A lot of you have herpes. Come on, come through. I have herpes. I'm not ashamed to say it. And no. it's existed as long as we're now. Before history has been recorded, and herpes has been around. So it's literally no big deal, actually. It STDs and STIs do not discriminate. Anyone can catch it. The acne on my face is worse than the acne on my vagina. <laughs> I have herpes on my vagina. Shut up. Would you have sex with somebody who has an STD? No. If they told you about it? I mean, 
Be honest. I'll be honestly, no. School stigma. Go get. Yo, dude, no. Okay, so if, if I'm talking to another female and they're like, hey, before you know, I take you to my house, I gotta let you know, I have. <laughs> I have herpes, I would be like, I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you for the dinner. I've had, I love the lobster, but I gotta go. No, you're not. Ew. Next one. <laughs> That's a oh, hold. Uh, what the hell? What's this? Unboxing privilege. If you can look the other way when our country bombs Syria, then you use this product already. Today, I'm unboxing privilege. Oh, what? Hey friends, I'm Dylan Marin and I am back to unbox the sickest intangible ideologies. So today I got my hands on the product so all encompassing that it has generated a whole line of amazing spin-off items. Oh, Check Lord. out white privilege if you want to go shopping without a security guard following you around and dig into straight privilege if you want to hold your partner's hand in public without being called a faggot. Oh Lord, I can do both of those. Oh, I guess I'm alright. Uh, man, I'm a terrible person because I'm straight and I know how not to steal. Want to have Republican lawmakers not give a shit where you take a shit? <laughs> then you gotta dig into cis privilege. And if you want to firmly advocate for yourself and not be called a bitch, then male privilege is the box for you. Oh, There's four so things. many more. What the hell? Okay, so you got able body privilege. Boom! Class privilege. Passing privilege. Oh! Oh, if you're like mixed race and you look white. Uh, uh, educational privilege. And what are you talking about? People go to college and legal privilege. Oh, so you're talking about illegal immigrants who should already be gone. Build that wall. Build the wall. But right now, let's dig into the product that gets presidents elected. <laughs> Yo. Nice. First up, it's a can of Pepsi. Did you know this product makes you think it's a good idea to make a commercial that co-ops resistance movements? Yo, it was a stupid commercial, but it was cute, okay? It was just a Pepsi commercial. Chill out. <laughs> Racism cured. Helpful. <laughs> it's a tissue box. Now, privilege can cause severe allergic reactions, so it's sweet that they've got you covered. Now, symptoms can include refusing to listen, sticking your head in the sand, and violent defensiveness because you can't handle the nuance of this product. For example, I can get on my SJW high horse when identifying privileges I don't have, but the minute I bring up privileges I do have, like able-bodied privilege... <laughs> <coughs> anyway. Let's just move on. <laughs> it is top security clearance to the White House just because you're the president's daughter. Um, that, that always is a thing. Okay. <laughs> Yum. It's a silver spoon. Stick it in your mouth and see how far you get. Cool. I just got to run a company with little to no applicable experience. Fun. <laughs> Well, there is one last thing in here, and it is a master key. So that you can open doors that won't open for other people. And they'll open so easily that you'll forget they were even locked in the first place. If anyone suggests they were, you'll dismiss them by telling them that they're focusing too much on identity politics. Like you are. Yo, what the fuck? Uh, oh, unboxing white feminism? What is Remember, this? Remember, liking Beyonce doesn't automatically make you woke. It just means you have a pulse. Today, what? I'm unboxing white feminism. What the hell hey, is friends, white feminism? I'm... Okay, wait, no, I, I do know what that is. It's a rhetorical question. But it's like for real. White feminism came as a... I remember when someone st first told me about this. I'm like, holy shit. This is when feminism became whole, like wholeheartedly intersectional. When it just fractured into a bunch of different subsects of trash. Dylan Marin and I unbox the hottest socio-political gadgets. And today, what? I'm tackling a product that is very exclusive. Now, don't be fooled. It's frequently mislabeled as just feminism, but the is. two are actually very different. So that, feminism- it, 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 It's essentially just feminism, but I guess it's not feminism that works for uh, fat, black, disabled women. First up, it's the hat Beyonce wears in the formation video. Now, even though the video was created as a tribute to black women, don't worry, ignore that and use this to recreate the video shot for shot. Think everything is for you. Lights, camera. Everything is, we live in a multicultural society. Action. It's a template screenplay for a romantic comedy. All you have to do is fill in the blanks with names, locations, and a trendy job for the protagonist, and just make sure to include an ambiguously ethnic best friend who has absolutely no character arc. I don't understand. Nice. 
It is a pop album. Infuse it with feminist ideology, which is so awesome, but then undermine that by featuring women of color as just accessories in the video of your debut single. These and as are a all meta. I can tell he's trying to, like, I, I don't know enough about feminist culture for me to get all the references. Uh, so I'm just lost. Like most individuals, I'm sure you guys are pretty lost too. Bonus, film another video in Africa and don't feature any black people. <laughs> Cha-ching, it is a dollar. Now, only a little more than three quarters of it is there, which is bad, but ignore the fact that even less of it is there for black women and even less of it is there for Hispanic women. <laughs> now this is really helpful. It is a deflection force field. Now, if this product is ever called out for being insensitive, unintersectional, racist, or transphobic, just turn on this feature and it makes the box completely impermeable to criticism. Like all feminists? Uh -oh. Lighten up SJWs and take a fucking joke, right? Oh, but hey, that's all up to you. <laughs> Bye. Oh lord, what are these videos? Unboxing masculinity. Oh lordy. There's so many. There's so many in so little time. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and also in that poll, which is somewhere in these corners. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. And uh, yeah, see you later, alligator. <laughs> I'm stuck between a talking and a VHS recorder